Hey guys, I'm Becky from Book Bite Reviews and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I have the May Bookish Box. I am very excited about it. It is very heavy. It is also a lot larger than normal. I don't know if you guys can tell. I've seen a lot of people online who have gotten theirs already and said the same thing and I didn't know what they were talking about. So you may not be able to tell, but it is a bit wider and a bit taller. It's also a lot heavier than normal. So I'm very excited to get into this. Before we begin, as always, I like to give a disclaimer that I'm not a rep for this company. I'm just a loyal customer who loves sharing her unboxings. However, I do have a link down in the description box that gives you, I believe, 5% off, 10% off your bookish shop purchase. This cannot be used on the monthly subscription boxes, which I have recently found out, but you should be able to use it on any of the shop merchandise like t-shirts, stickers, etc. So be sure if you do end up buying something from the bookish shop, which you totally should because they're an amazing company, to use my link down below because it gives me a percentage off my next purchase as well. So now let's go ahead and get into it. I do purchase the YA boxes and the theme for this month is Story Wanderlust. So here is your sneak peek. We have green paper snakes and lots of good stuff already. All right, our first item is a tea. This looks like it's a, yes, it's a loose leaf tea and it's called Late Night Traveler by Riddle's Tea Shop. And it's a bookish box exclusive tea blend. It's spicy vanilla for your late night wanderlust. Decaf Celan, natural spice flavor, natural vanilla flavor, orange, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and cardamom. It's gluten free, nut and dairy free, and a decaf tea. Number one, um, I don't drink decaf because the only point of me drinking a caffeinated beverage is for the caffeine. So there's that. On top of that, I have tried many different teas. I want to be a tea person. I haven't found a single one that I've enjoyed. Like not even a little bit. So this is probably gonna be a gift for somebody. That's fine. Also the fact that it says it's a spicy tea, I do not handle spice well. Like I can't handle any level of spice. Ketchup is sometimes too spicy to me. So not, not a great idea. Next, we have our pin. It looks like this is inspired by Crave by Tracy Wolf. It's designed by Blissfully Bookish Tees. I haven't read any of the other books in the Crave series besides the first one, but I enjoyed it and my plan is to continue on. So this is exciting. Ooh, so it's Catmere Academy. It's this really cool postage stamp. I've seen a lot of people do these stamps and I think it's really, really cool. It is double backed. But how cool is that? I think this is a really cool pin. I like it a lot. That does mean that last month when we got the um, art print for this month, that I was correct when I said that was from the Crave series. Very proud of my memory. Next we have the t-shirt. I'm already a fan of the color because it's black. Oh, I like this a lot. It's been a while since we had this large of a print on the monthly t-shirts. But I am such a fan. It's this fictional wanderlust. It's so cool. I love this a lot. I feel like the mountains in the back are a slight nod to the night court. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm gonna say. But I love this. That is so pretty. Really cool t-shirt. So next we have the monthly candle. This one is <gasps> Forks Washington, Twilight inspired. It says it's dark woods, moss, and fresh rain. If it's the smell that just emanated when I opened up the packaging on this, it's gonna be amazing. Mmm, yep. This is, this is so my jam. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so the, the candle itself, I don't know if you can really tell. It's a little messy around the rim, which is why I smelled it as soon as I opened it. Mmm, wow. It's definitely, if you've ever smelt a candle or a wax that's supposed to be fresh rain, definitely smells like that, but it has some hints of like a darker, muskier, like men's cologne. 
if this is what Forks, Washington smells like, then I'm moving there. And not just for the vampires. We also have this really, really cool art print on it. Um, I'm not sure who is supposed to be on this. My guess is Edward. But this guy has red hair. Is Edward supposed to have red hair? Next is a necklace. And it, oh, it matches our t-shirt. Well, not exactly, not to a T, but it looks similar to our t-shirt. And I think it's by Fictional Places, or that's just the name is Fictional Places. I don't know, really, really cool. I will say for it being such a large necklace, it's very light. Um, I mean, it is always fake. I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing this because just a such a large piece. Yeah, I don't know about this. Next we have a box. Um, usually cups come in these boxes. This is the bookish box and KDP letters, which really excites me. That's all it says everywhere on it. Also, really pretty packaging. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. Okay. I was right. It's a mug. Oh my god. This mug is stunning. What is this inspired by? It's gorgeous. Okay. Look at this mug. It says Atlantia. It is stunning. I love that it like completely wraps around the entire mug because I'm not a big fan of mugs that just kind of like something right there and then stop. That is stunning. I love this. Wow. So next is the monthly bookmark that matches our monthly candle. I'm still unsure. I think it's supposed to be Edward though, but this is like, whose Edward is this? I don't, I don't know this guy. So here's what it looks like up close. Stunning, stunning artwork as always. It's the same on the back. But who is this guy? We need to take a peek at the spoiler card in a minute. Oh, I love that. We got a sticker that says, I burn for you. <laughs> oh, I love that. That has got to be from Bridgerton. That is stunning. I love that so much. It's my favorite thing from the show. So then the last thing that we have is the book as well as the art print for the next month's theme. So the next one is, I believe it's Snake in the Grass, if I'm not mistaken. All that the back tells me is about this month's book. So I think it's Snake in the Grass. Love the art print, very pretty. Let me find the spoiler card first though, before we move on to the book. So our print is by More Love Art. It's the June YA theme, like I said, and it's inspired by The Shadows Between Us, which you might be able to see is right here behind me because I plan on reading it this month. So that's really cool. Our shirt is designed by Book Babe Designs. Love it. Our gorgeous mug is obviously by KDP Letters. And it just says if you were to snag a mug in, it says Atlanta, but I feel like it's supposed to say Atlantia, because that's what the mug says, at a coffee shop, this is what we imagine to be grabbing. So it doesn't say if this is inspired by anything, but it's gorgeous. Oh, I didn't even notice on the bottom, it has a little bookish shop logo. Um, and it, it does say the candle and the bookmark are designed by Nicole Deal, and it's Edward. Whose Edward is this? This does not look like Edward. This looks like some random redhead who's in forks. Very strange. So strange. I will say though, um, the last bookmark we got, I think I put it somewhere else. Last month, it wasn't on this thicker card stock with the velvet matte finish. It was very cheap feeling. So I'm very, very happy that this month it's back to normal because otherwise I'd be a little annoyed. Okay, so the last thing we have, my hair's caught on my earring. The last thing we have is the book. So let me get this open. Very pretty. It is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. Um, unpopular opinion. I don't want to read this book. <laughs> I don't have the desire to. 
So I am going to be gifting this to a friend of mine on Instagram. Uh, she put out there if anyone is getting the bookish box edition of this and doesn't want it, she would love to buy it. She's about to start getting her master's degree for library science and she's got like this big move and all this stuff going on. And so I decided to go ahead and give her my copy completely free as like a congrats on grad school. And uh, I'm so excited to give this to her because she's going to love this. Whereas I'm going to put it on my shelf and be like, maybe one day I'll read it and I'll probably never read it. And then it'll be donated to the library or something. So instead I get to give it to her. So let's go through and talk about all the amazing stuff that is on this. So we have an exclusive cover. What's exclusive about it? I don't really know. In the last couple books, it's been very subtle where I can't tell what the difference is. I want to say maybe the red Realm Breaker is different or maybe it's the fact that it's so um, metallic-y. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't know what makes it exclusive. It never tells me. So there's that. It then has a reversible dust jacket. So here's what it looks naked, black and gold, very pretty. The reversible dust jacket is also very pretty. Look at that. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love that. It looks like we definitely have a very diverse cast. Oh, so pretty. I do wish that these parts were metallic. That would be really cool. But yeah, that's really pretty. If I was keeping this copy, I would switch it over to this. Then we have exclusive end papers and the tipped in page is actually on the end paper, which is really, really cool. So here it is. Look at that. Ah, so pretty. Very pretty, very, very pretty. And they're different, so that's cool. Um, like I already showed, it is signed right here. And then we have an exclusive art print on the inside. Very cool. And I believe that's everything about this. Um, the only thing is that the artist, I think of everything, not sure, is Cass Berry. And I will have down below in the description box all of the credits to who designed everything as I always do. So yes, very, very cool. Um, I personally am a little sad that with these books, they're no longer giving us the little slip cover that goes with the book. I'll show you what I mean in one second. So normally they would give us the book in one of these and they haven't done that in a while and that stinks. I know like last month there was a book sleeve so it made sense not to give it but I think that there was like another month or two that they didn't give us one and I really like them. I like keeping them for reasons especially like this where I'm giving this book away and now I have this really cute little protector to put it in so that when I ship it to her it doesn't get damaged. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like perfect. Absolutely perfect. That is everything for this box. I feel like this box was all right. Not my favorite box. I love, like, favorite things are definitely the mug and the t-shirt. I really enjoy the sticker. I also think that the enamel pin is really cool. I'm obsessed with the scent of this candle. I'm glad that the bookmarks are back to normal, but who the heck is this guy? This is not Edward. And I'm definitely going to be giving away the necklace and the tea. So some ups and downs with this box. Not the best, not the worst. But yeah, I think that's everything that I have for you in this video. Don't forget if you enjoyed it to please give it a thumbs up. Keep reading, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys! People say be